Well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well, you might see, or you might remember, that when I last did the walk past the shed, it's a few videos back. It was back in the video where I divided up the Hebe's clamp. Uh, there's a great big shrub here, and that was a golden cup. I forget the technical name now, but I will put it just below, so you know you guys have a better idea as to what it was. But it's a, it was a beautiful golden cup shrub. The problem was, ground behind the shed here is just becoming too big and too unruly. So what I had to do is dig around it. And the thing is, the root base was all tangled up and really in a big clump. So I'd go in with a saw and divide it up. And what I've done since is cut down each section into sort of like a two foot, three foot tall um, trunk with a little bit of root on the bottom. And I've put them, planted them a little bit further up the garden. I'll show you where we now have them. So here they are, so I've planted them just uh, along this edge just here, and you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine trunks coming up, and uh, yeah, as you can see, I've cut them back quite hard uh, with the aim of, you know, allowing the roots to develop, and hopefully next spring new, sh new shoots and new um, buds should open, and they should grow on and become quite nice, quite nice uh, bushes or shrubs. Once again, this is just a really neat way of dividing up a bigger clump into several different clumps and developing some kind of a hedgerow. But you know me, I had to take one of these and see if I could turn it into a bonsai tree. Right, so here it is, just in here. Now you might see that everything is quite tightly packed up and that's just because the winds around here have been so bad that, and so strong that it's just, if I had everything up on the table like I normally do, it just would have blown all over the place. So. I'll try to pack everything in. I've got a load of plants packed in on my shelf here. Uh, quite a few are, are stored under the table just here. I have a few others that I should have put under my stand just to keep them out of the wind. But anyway, getting back to the golden cup, just in here, this is what I have. So as you can see, this tree is, has some interesting movement in it. Uh, I have these stones just down here just to hold it into place because once again, the winds have been so strong and this has only just been potted up into this, this flower pot. Um, but it's some interesting movement. You can see as we come up here, it's a bit straight near the base, kind of goes up at a slight angle, comes up, and then a bit of a knuckle up here, but it divides into two, and then gradually goes up skywards. I don't think I will keep the tree this height. It is a bit, a bit tall for my liking. I do prefer to have smaller bonsai trees, mainly because of space, you know, I don't have that much space around here so it is a bit of a challenge but yeah this is the tree Chester you're not my camera right take two sorry about that my little dog just knocked the tripod and it caused the camera to shake a little bit but um yeah going back to what I was saying um I think I just uh, wait for the roots to develop on this tree just uh, put it somewhere in the shade and uh, hopefully the same as the ones further up the garden the roots will establish, uh, we'll get some nice buds and shoots coming out and hopefully in the future this will become a nice bonsai for the future. Well if it does, you're sure to see it on the channel in some future update videos way off in the distance. But that's that tree, I'll put it on the shelf somewhere and uh, we'll work on today's project. So one thing about me that you probably don't know is I am a bit of a practicing magician and I do like to play around with cards so I thought in this video for a change I might show you a card trick. Right, so it's quite a windy day today, so I hope these cards stay on the table. But uh, if I start, I can just show you that I have shuffled the deck thoroughly and it is a nice random deck. And how we begin, it's a bit like two card Monte, so highest cards win, ace is high. And uh, let's just start with the top card. The top card here is the three of diamonds. So the three of diamonds is going to be your card. For my card, I'm going to have this card, which for now I'm going to keep as a mystery. There's a bit of wind just going by, I don't want them to move the cards. So next card we can see is the two of spades. You have the two of spades, I have the mystery cards. The rest of the deck we'll just leave over here. Okay, so you have the so you have the two and the three, and I have the two mystery cards. Now, if this is two card Monte and highest cards win, you don't really have the best chance here because you have a two and a three and I have these two cards here. So what I would do 
or what I'm going to offer you is the chance to swap. So you can swap my two cards for your two cards. And I think, you know, all being given, that wouldn't be a bad trade, despite you not knowing what these cards are. So let's do that. So let's take the two and the three, and you can have my mystery card, my other mystery card, and I'll have the two and the three. Okay, so what if I told you that despite that extent, that swap that we just did, I can still guarantee that I would win this game. You might think, well, Gav, how, you know, how? You've just swapped the cards. I've just, you know, I've just given you the two and the three, and you've given me two cards that you don't know what they are. Well, let's take a look then. Let's have a look. Well, you still have the two and the three. And you know the funny thing? I have the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Hearts. So I hope you like that little card trick. Uh, you know, if you do want to see more card magic on this channel or even, uh, you know, other types of magic, uh, do let me know. You know, leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, I'll see what I can do. But um, this is, this channel is called Not Another Bonsai Channel after all. So, you know, let's mix it up and do some different things. But uh, as the main focus is bonsai after all, I better get a tree out and we'll work on today's project. So today I thought we might work on some willows. Right, so just tucked in down here, I have a couple of little willow trees. So I'm not entirely sure what variety of willows these are. These are just taken from cuttings. And you can see this one is basically just a, a, like a pencil, really. It's pencil thick, it's straight. And all I've done is I've just allowed this branch to grow, clipped it back here. It's a little branch that's come up there, I've clipped it back, and then I've just clipped it back here and here. And then there's a, quite a thick branch coming out the top, which I've cut back. And then just I'm allowing this leader to grow and you know just try to create some tree-like form with this with this uh, tree um, this is potted up in the my ordinary bonsai mix 60% uh, grit and 40% ordin or ordinary uh, garden compost um, you know it isn't anything special I have experimented with these with willows in the past using different soil mediums I did even try for a short spell using peat and you know, because willows are like water. So I was thinking, okay, well, if you grow them in peat, then that's really going to hold the water. Well, as it is, willows also like free draining soil, would you believe? So that didn't work out well. And, um, you know, some of the willows that had grown in peat didn't survive. But yeah, as I say, these are just grown in my ordinary, or ordinary bonsai mix. Uh, if we take a look at this one, I like to add little things to my bonsai displays, even if they are quite basic. I just think it makes them look quite good. You can see this is sl slightly better branching, a um, bit more movement in the in the trunk. Again, this is just taken as a cutting from a local tree. Uh, I've allowed this branch to grow here, so dividing in two. Come up here, some nice shoots going on it, and uh, yeah, they're just might. I don't really think I'm going to cut them back just yet. Um, as we come up, there's a branch coming to the side here, divides into two up here. The shoot could still extend a little bit more. Um, not entirely sure about that one, albeit it could perhaps be wired around that way. Or maybe come out the back, or be coming out the back would be best. And then as we go up, it divides into two just up here. And these shoots are still quite skinny, they can extend a bit more. So I'm not really liking the idea of doing any pruning on these trees today. But what I thought I would show you is how to get willow cutting started. And uh, for the most part, these are some of the easiest cuttings that you can take and I have a few going in a pot just around here so let's take a look and see how they're how they're getting on so just in here I have a jug of water with a whole variety of different sized cuttings All right so there's quite a variety of cuttings in this in this jug here let's just move these ones just to the side so you can see see this a bit better yeah, so there's a whole variety of different cuttings, but we can see, I mean, this is a plastic jug, so, you know, it's not the clearest, it's not like, you know, growing these in a jar, but you can see, you know, there are roots, plenty of roots. So uh, let's take a look at some of these. So we have this one here. There we go, there's a, bit of a petal on there, but you can see there's two, two roots begin to grow on that one, that's cool. Uh, this one here, there's all kinds of roots growing, you know, growing on that one. And these were all just taken as cuttings from a, from a local tree. 
uh, what with the storms, you know, plenty of branches blew down and, you know, all of these willow branches are laying on the floor. So one afternoon I just went there with the sec per secateurs and cut them up into these, these different shapes and lengths and thought I'd have a play and see what I could do. Yeah, this one has a lot of roots on it. So let's try a thick one. Let's have a look at, oh, look at this thick one here. Wow, look at the, look at the roots on this one. Wow, it looks, always love willow roots. They kind of look like, you know, alien fingers or like alien worms. Really strange. But that's almost ready to be potted on in soil. A swell on its way to becoming a, a tree. Oh, this one, you can see. Yes, yeah, so this is what happens before the roots, the roots develop. We can see there's all kinds of little white bumps just on here. There's a few short roots coming out, so that one is well on its way to, to becoming a, a, a nice tree. Let's take a look at one of these big ones. So these were an experiment, and this here, is that a root? Oh no, that's a petal just there. Yeah, so this one doesn't have anything just yet, but it is a big cutting, so... You know, I, I do think in the future, I mean, you know, if a cutting that size, and put out roots, then I think in time we should see some little white nodes appearing on this and we should see some roots. Let's take a look at another one. Let's have a look at this one here. Now, this is another thick one, nothing much on that one just yet, but you know, it's still good condition, still very much alive, it's not dead, so I do think roots will come out on that one. Let's say, oh, look at this one, wow. Look at this, the roots coming out on that one. Fantastic. Excellent. And there's another big one. There's a few little little nodes beginning to turn white on this one. So I think that's a petal just there. So yeah, not a lot on that one. We'll put that back and hopefully in the future it will root. Yeah, some of these haven't yet rooted. Well, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I have so many of these of these cuttings that, and I have no doubt that they will root. And uh, what with the constant winds, I'm pretty sure that more branches off willow trees are going to fall. So I was going to say, if you want any of these cuttings, um, let me know. You know, leave a comment in the comment section below, or send me an email to notanotherbonsaichannel at hotmail.com, um, and uh, I'll see what I can do. I mean, I probably wrap these up in wet tissue and you know, should be able to send these in the post. So if you want any cuttings and you want to have an experiment with these willows, you're more than welcome. Just just leave me a comment in the comment section below and, and uh, I'll work something out for you. Well, quite a simple video today. I uh, just wanted to show you a bit of card magic and uh, show you these, these willow cuttings. But as I say, if you are interested in any of, the, any of these, and you are from the UK, I think international post is going to be far too difficult with, with cuttings or even plants. But um, yeah, if you are interested, you know, give me a shout. You know, put a comment in the comment section below, or send me an email to not another bonsai channel at hotmail.com. I will put that down in the description below, and uh, maybe we can work something out. And that's all for today, guys. Well, thanks again for joining me, and as always, until next time, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one.